Online is brought to you by Coca-Cola. Refresh your day. Welcome to CFM. I'm Ella Angel. And I'm Celia Hall. And today on CFM, we'll be talking about cell phones being banned from New York, discovering a brand's GPS, weather, winning a Nobel Prize, a new movie, impact on invention, and some sports information. Welcome Clay Tepper with the first story of the day. Upadu Clay Tepper. First, we are going to talk about New York welcoming cell phones. New York is soon going to end the end of cell phones for schools. When Bill Davis and a man from Mayor last year in New York City, he promised to end the city's cell phone ban in public schools. Now, under his leadership, the city is preparing to end the ban. But he will tell them to keep their phones away during class. The ban of cell phones in New York City started in 2007 under Mayor Michael Bloomberg. Before putting an official end to the cell phone, city education officials are work, working on changing new rules. Rules about using cell phones during class are to cheat on tests. That's it for this topic. When do you think kids should start having cell phones? I wonder how that would go down. Tell us your opinion on this topic. And now, our next story with Lucky. October 10, 2014 was a very important day for the world. On this day, Malala Yousafzai was awarded the 128th Nobel Peace Prize. She was the youngest ever to earn the prize. What is the Nobel Peace Prize? The Nobel Peace Prize is an award given by a committee of five people to a group or individual. It is awarded to a group or person in the preceding year who has shown the most or best work to spread peace around the world. When Malala was just 11, she started blogging about the takeover of her hometown. In Pakistan, where Malala lived, girls were not allowed to go to school. Malala fought for women's rights throughout the year. On October 12, 2012, a gunman attempted to stop her by killing her. She did not die, but was severely injured. She shared the Nobel Peace Prize with a 60-year-old woman. They shared the money, so they each received $1.1 million. From Sugar Falls Intermediate School, I'm Lucky Dedman. CFN is brought to you by Dole Banana, a banana that isn't dull. Awesome job, Lucky! Isn't that inspiring that someone so young can make such a big difference? She is a role model for everyone to follow. Moving on, next up is Ryan talking about Alexander's No Good Day. Have you ever had a bad day? There was a movie that came out October 10th called Alexander and the Terrible, Horrible, No Good, Very Bad Day. The movie starts when Alexander finds gum in his hair, and it doesn't get much better after that. Alexander is played by a 13-year-old boy named Ed. 16-year-old Karis Dorsey plays Alexander's older sister. According to Time for Kids, the movie starts just like the book when Alexander is experiencing a bad day. What makes the movie so enjoyable is that good that it go, goes beyond the original story and gives the audience a glimpse into what happens when things start to go wrong for the Cooper family. Sounds like a good movie, but a terrible, horrible, no good, very bad day. Yeah, I can't wait until I can see it. Next up is Austin. He is going to be talking about the Brain's GPS. Hello. People have found the Brain's GPS. There have been people who have figured out why and how people remember things, like when they see something or hear something. It's in the hippocampus and internal cortex. John O'Keefe, Maybert Mauser, and Edward Mauser are the people who have found it. The hippocampus makes up grid cells, and place cells are types of neurons recorded from neighboring forebrain structures. Grid, grid cells are from the internal cortex, and place cells are from the hippocampus. I'm Austin Popovich from CFN. Who knew? You can learn something interesting every day. Ella, you are completely right. I always am. How about talking about some impact on invention? Sounds like a plan. Steven Johnson, host and science writer, filmed the TV series How We Got to Now in the sewers of San Francisco, a 300-foot indoor ski slope in Dubai, and many more interesting places. Johnson just wants kids to watch the show and think about how to solve the next set of problems. The How We Got to Now series is on PBS and is only six episodes long, but full of good information and very interesting places. Johnson went to one of the cleanest places on Earth, to one of the most disgusting places on Earth in the Clean episode. Episodes include clean, cold, time, light, glass, and sound. 
The first episode on Time aired on PBS on October 15th at 9 p.m. In an interview with TFK, Johnson said, From the very beginning, we conceived the show as one that would, in that would inspire kids and encourage them to solve the next set of problems, and also to remind them that when we talk about innovators, it's not just about Mark Zuckerberg and Steve Jobs. From CFN News Station, I'm Charlie Asplund. CFN is proud to present Chick-fil-A, Eat Mo Chicken. Awesome job, Charlie. I would not want to go into the sewers. Me neither. Now for some weather? Let's take a look. Hi, and the weather will, uh, it'll be okay. Definitely not the best thing in our family. Cold weather, but on Monday, 37, and the sun's looking out there. And then it's just going to rain. Same thing, but 37, but rainy. Wednesday, warming up, but still rainy. Then on um, Thursday, you have 36 degrees and cloudy. And Friday, 45, is going to be nice and warm. Kind of warm on the weekend. 45 Saturday and 45 Sunday. Victor Cruz doing the salsa in the end zone. This is Marcus Beckel with your sports. Well, that wraps up CFN for today. Thank you for watching. See you next time on CFN. Goodbye.